Hello, my name is Dennis Miller from MSCTC. It's Minnesota State Community and Technical College in Moorhead, Minnesota, commonly called M State. Today I'm going to show you some uh, basic features of the 9700 Road Force wheel balancing machine by Hunter. Just the balancing part today. In later videos, we'll get into the rim tire matching and road force placing on the vehicle. So today, just balancing. So in getting started then, uh, some of the features of the machines are, is that we've got uh, the task bar here where our, they are selected by the K keys. So this box goes with K1, this box goes with K2, and so on and so forth. So what we want to do today is get started with balancing. Some other items on this machine that one should know about, and that would be this machine utilizes a, a wheel here that's going to go up against the wheel and around that 14, 1500 pounds and simulate road force. That's what's going to determine you know, how well this tire rolls down the road. And we'd all think that wheels are perfectly round and, and uh, rims are round, but that's not the case in a perfect world, maybe. But what this is going to do is measure the wheel and measure the force variation. So we know if the wheel is perfect, we'd have zero pounds of force, meaning it would be consistent all the way through. So we'll find out the road force when that thing is going through its operation. But for now, what we'll do is we'll get the tire mounted and explain some of the uh, setup for it. Other, one other note is <clears throat> we have a pedal down here that we're going to use to trigger some of the sensing of the, of the uh, position of the wheel. So you'll hear this beep on occasion when I go to trigger this thing and, and lock some of the data onto the screen. So I'll mention triggering it by hitting the, the pedal on the floor. So to get started, we're going to select the cone, and we have a series of cones that we just set into the center of the wheel so that, or the, yeah, the wheel, so that we center the wheel on this shaft. And it is critical that, that we are centering it, and we've selected this cone that matches the wheel we're using, and it's critical that the bolt pattern rests against this flange to simulate as it would on a, on a vehicle. So we've got that picked, put the tire on. Screw on the retainer. Another way we can do that is we could depress the pedal and that will spin the shaft and lock it in place. But we can do it on by hand as well. So ensure that this thing is really tight because we don't want this wheel coming loose. If per se it does come loose, the machine will shut down and, and direct you to tightening it up. Spin the tire, making sure that it appears to be true and that way you can you know, make sure that it, we don't have any problems and it's tight. Before you go any farther, pull the air hose out of the holder and insert it over the trader. Okay. We'll do this one more time. When you remove it, it should default, and if it didn't, like I had done now, just put it back in. I'll show you that screen. Here's the air chuck. When you pull it up out of the holder, you should get a screen that shows a tire pressure. Okay. At that time, put it over the Schrader and it will automatically add air or subtract air based on what you have programmed it to be. And we programmed this tire to have 32 PSI. Once it's attained that, remove it, Place it in its holder 
and it will go back to your balancing screen. And your screen should look like that. Now, the next thing we've got to do is it's got question marks as to where is this tire on the machine. So what we're going to do is we'll hit the K1 key and it's going to ask us again about the weights. You know, do we want the weights clip on or do I want to use my right arrow key using the K3 key? Do I want uh, clip on and adhesive or do I want just adhesive weights or do I want a patch weight? But we're going to go back to the clip on weights. So we'll select that. Then we're going to measure the tire on the on the shaft. And to do that, we're going to use this lever right here, pull it out. We'll hear the beep. We want this roller to be right in the metal bead of the rim. We put that in the rim as such, and we have one on this side as well. And that is this one here. We want this roller to be on the bead here. Once you've held both into place, then touch your toe on the pedal. You'll get the beep, at which time that will put the measurements on the screen, as you can see. Now we're ready for balancing. And to balance, all we have to do is close the hood. One step before we do that, I want to explain this, and that is we have a selection of what kind of tires we've got. Right now we're on the P tires, meaning passenger tires, but if we use this knob here and rotate it, we can select passenger slash SUV or for um, uh, your sport utility vehicles or scroll up to a, a light truck tires, a light duty truck tires. And we also want to do the straight track. We'll get into that later, but that's going to encompass the, you know, um, keeping the rim and tire matched and along with putting the road force tires in a proper position as the machine would try to get this thing to straight, drive straight. But that's at a later date. So we'll go back to the P tires, straight track, and we'll go start our balancing. And in order to start the balancing, all we have to do is close the hood. At which time, okay, it asks us about the pressure. Have we checked it? And I say yes to that. And we'll go through. The roller will apply, checking measuring of the uh, tire stiffness. And that will seat the bead. That's applying pressure again. Then it's doing load diameter and measuring road force. All this is being done with that roller with pressure against it. Measuring lateral force, it will change direction of the tire. The, the roller will re be, be removed and now we're spinning the tire freely and doing a balance. As you can see, it's calling for uh, 1.25 ounces on the outside of that tire and it's showing it's got 26 pounds of road force. Th that is getting acceptable but high. We'll, as we get into the later videos, we'd like to see that number below 20. But again, 25 is acceptable, but when you get over 30, it's going to start to throw this thing uh, into a category where you should be doing some rim to tire matching. But we'll just go through the balancing part of this right now. So lift the hood. Then we'll select a one and a quarter ounce and the wheel will stop where it wants to put the weight. In this case it only has one spot so therefore it'll stop and it will have you a green arrow where to put the weight so that will be at the highest point where it stops and if there's a, another green arrow on the inside all you have to do is hit the start button and this machine will automatically rotate it to that next position. But in this case it's in position for the weight.
once the await is installed, we can then go back and re-spin the tire. And to do that, all one has to do is close the hood. As you can see then, both sides are zeroed out and the tire is now balanced. Thank you for watching. This is MSCTC, Minnesota State Community and Technical College in Moorhead, Minnesota.